So version 138 of BetAngel is the first version that we've released since uh, Betfair upgraded their API. Automation is brilliantly suited for the changes that Betfair have made to the API. And having successfully launched a new version of BetAngel using the new API, we also wanted to get new features out as quickly as possible. So that's what we've done. Version 138 contains a number of amendments, but this video is specific to the amendments that we've made to the rules um, within automation. And automation is brilliant because you can use it to trade completely automatically, or it can supplement your trading as well. So you can be busy working on something else within BetAngel, and automation will do stuff automatically for you in the background. So let's have a look at some of the things we've introduced on automation in version 138. If we look at the rule types on automation, these are all of the rule types that you have available to you. You can place a back bet, lay bet, you can back and lay all selections. But we've also introduced the ability to close a trade on one specific um, selection with greening. So it's always been possible to open and close trades on the automation, but we've introduced the ability to do this with greening, with cash out, basically. Um, if you look down here uh, to reappraise other features that we have in here, you can cancel bets, uh, you can hedge your entire position across the market, um, get BetAngel to automatically apply keep all or take SP all uh, features to your bets. Um, you can also do sound alerts if you want to make a bit of a noise about something or alert you to something that's going on, you can do that as well. But one of the requests that we had recently was to switch to this market. So this is pretty clever because what you can do is you can get BetAngel to monitor a whole range of markets for you. Say you're watching football on a Saturday or something and you've got 20, 30 or more uh, markets open. You can now get BetAngel to switch to a mar market completely automatically, subject to a condition. So you could say to it, right, I want you to look at all of these markets and when the following happens, switch to it. Obviously, you could also get it to play a sound as well. So can you imagine that? You have all of these markets um, monitoring. You want to know when something particular happens, it reaches a certain price or a certain volume, or something goes on within the market, or your profit reaches a certain level. Um, then you can actually get it to play a sound and switch to the market. So you're milling around, making a cup of tea or something. Uh, Bet Angel goes, oi, yeah, have a quick look over here. And you come and sit down at your desk, and there is the market in front of you. It's a clever little feature that we introduced. So many thanks to the person who suggested that because um, I have been using that quite a lot. And um, if you look at the other areas of automation that we've added in, you have to go to um, the parameters. So I'll have to use a different bet here to highlight the parameters that we want to use. Uh, what you can actually do now is you can place a bet, if you've always been able to place a bet at fixed price, best market price, custom ticks above or below price, etc, 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 and so on and so forth, but we've added SP in here as well. So uh, when the market SPs, you can actually look at the SP price and place um, an opening trade or a bet above or below the SP price. So again, that's a very useful feature to have within there. When we get to the conditions, there are actually um, a host of new conditions in here. And some of these are quite complex, but you'll immediately be able to see the benefit of these conditions when I show them to you. So let's have a look at those. If we have a look at the condition type, you can see these are all of the condition types that we have available uh, within the market. And there are an awful lot of them now and growing all of the time. But if you look at the historic fixed odds condition, this basically allows you to place a trade based upon uh, something that has happened in the past. So if, for example, we, you know, we back the favourite, we can say, or we want to trade the favourite, we can say, let's trade the favourite um, or a nominated selection within the market. You can see you can nominate selections as well. But on this occasion, let's back the favourite. And what we want to say is the favourite's back price, its lay price, or its last traded price uh, now or 120 seconds ago, which would be two minutes or 60 seconds ago, um, is of a certain value, less than, greater than, or equal to a certain value. So you can actually say, well, if the price is moved by this much, do the following. Uh, and now I hear what you're saying. You're saying, well, hey, that's great, Peter, but um, can't we make it relative to what, what its price was? Well, that's pretty easy because we've also done that condition in the new version as well. You can see that this is a bit of a meteor. Um, if I just pull this up and make sure it's all in view, this is a bit of a meteor condition within the automation. So we can say the current 
favourite because it's row one in Betfair order or a nominated thing, the draw, um, a certain tennis player, whatever you want to do. Um, so we're saying here the current odds that are available on this selection. So we could say the current lay price now is less than the current selection, i.e. the same as we've got above here. Um, and again, we're looking at the last traded price. Uh, how different is it from 60 seconds ago, i.e. a minute, or 120 seconds ago, two minutes, 180 seconds ago, blah, 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 blah. So what you can actually say, what this rule is doing for you is it's saying, um, how much has the favorite moved? So we're saying here, because we're using the, the, the runner in row one, we're saying its price was this 180 seconds ago. Um, it's now this, and it's less than that price, and therefore we're going to place a trade on that, or we're going to place a back bet, or we're going to lay it, or one of these things or the other. So it's a slightly more complicated rule, but you're basically saying, what's happened to the price on this 180 seconds ago? Um, this is what we're going to do. So it's a, a wonderful rule. So you know you've, you're bound to have seen where you know the price on something comes in and comes in and comes in and come, and it's just getting heavily backed, and you can jump on the back of a trend. So the historical relative odds condition um, allows you to do that. So yeah, that's a very powerful tool. We also have uh, put in additional conditional types as well. So if we look at this, we also have, uh, you can see we've covered the historic f fixed odds and the historic relative odds. But we also have um, additional facilities in here to help you manage your positions better in and out of the market. So we've got the number of place bets uh, trigger condition. So you can say on this market, on this particular selection, so we say on this selection is less than 10, less than 12 or whatever. So this sort of goes back to when you set up your original trade It makes sure you can't exceed a certain number of triggers um, within the market or when you hit a particular condition within that market. Uh, you can also do the same for the uh, match bets as well. So if the number of match bets on a selection uh, reaches a certain level that can also be applied now. And you can see we've also got unmatched bets uh, available within here as well. But we also do have um, the matched bets amount condition. So this is a useful way of drip feeding orders into the market because, of course, you can say to it, place um, 10 trades uh, of X hundred pound or X pound uh, continuously through the length of this market. But with this condition, you can actually limit the amount um, of the total back or lay bets that you have, or a certain fixed amount, uh, to whatever level you want. So we could actually get a trade or a bet or a position into the market by saying place £10 uh, 10 times or 20 times or whatever if this certain condition is met, but don't exceed this value. So that's a pretty useful uh, piece of automation to put in there as well. But the summary I'll give you on, on version 138 is we have um, embellished and put a lot more rules and features into the automation. So I suggest the best thing for you to do is to get better and you'll fire it up into practice mode and have a really good play with them. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.